Hey, it's Christina and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys my updated hair wrapping tutorial. In my previous wrap tutorial, my hair was much shorter, but as you can see here, my hair has gotten longer since then. So I wanted to come on just to let you guys know that the tips that I share will work for both longer hair lengths and shorter hair lengths. So if you're ready, let's get right into it. So to start out, I'm taking my red tooth comb. I'm just trying to find the right parting space, which I recommend starting that part on the side. And that helps a lot when you're starting your wrap. Okay, so once you get that part, you want to begin combing the hair to the opposite side of that direction. So if you parted your hair to the right, you'll comb it to the left. And if you parted your hair on the left, you will comb it to the right. As you begin to do this, you'll start to create the wrap, which is a circular shape where the hair wraps onto itself. Here's a quick tip. You can use your ear to hold the hair in place as you maneuver. The second styling tool I'll be using is a detangler brush and I'm using the easy detangler in this video. Um, so I'm just starting just to detangle the hair a bit on the ends. If you feel like your hair is snagging or anything like that, you definitely want to detangle it before you try to finish wrapping. Once you get your hair past your ear, you want to begin to smooth your hair by combing or brushing it in a circular motion at the nape of your neck. Once you get around to the other ear, you can use that ear to hold the hair in place as well. My hair is thicker and longer this time around. So once you get to this part, it may require a little bit more patience. So once you get to the end, you definitely want to utilize multiple tools, meaning go in with your detangler brush to smooth around, and then you can alternate with your rat tooth comb if need be. Using your hand to kind of hold the hair in place works wonders as well. So just go ahead and hold your hair flat with your hand and continue to comb and brush your hair around into the circular motion. Keep doing this process of kind of like brushing the hair into itself to get it as smooth as possible. That way when you take your hair down in the morning, you'll still have those curls and your hair will still look fine without any bends or anything. Once you get to the very end, you want to take that little piece of hair and smooth it onto the rest of the hair. And then you continue to go around until you get this as flat as possible. Here is my last secret to get the most effective and flawless wrap. So I'm taking a small bristle brush. Um, it can be hard or soft, but I find that the soft works best and this will solidify everything and keep everything as smooth as possible. So once you get up in the morning, your hair is popping. So the last and final step is to make sure that you have the right scarf. You don't wanna do all of this work trying to wrap your hair just to wake up in the morning to find that your hair is unwrapped and your scarf is off your head. So, if you want one of these, I'll have some available and the description will have all of the details. So, as you can see here, I'm just taking my large scarf and I'm wrapping my hair just so that my hair will stay wrapped the duration of the night and I'll wake up and I'll have flawless hair. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll have two other videos out for you all, which will be my takedown process as well as a troubleshooting video. Make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you all in my next video.